Hey, shalom, shalom. Call hello, you may have a bashim, you have a shy. All right, double honor to the head elders and bishops. All right, the apostles, a great millstone, shalom to you, Akim, throughout the world. It's the brother Yarza Young, just coming with a quick hit. Uh, Psalms and the Psalms. All right, personally, we all should love the Psalms. We all love the, I love the Psalms, you know. Uh, the beloved elder, Apostle Raka, he always talks about the Psalms. In particular, Psalm the 51st chapter. All right. I just wanted to get into this psalm, a few verses in it, you know, and, um, you know, speak on it through the spirit, you know, Psalm 34 and 12. It says, what man is he that desireth life and loveth many days that he may see good? Yeah. And what man is that? The man is a, a Hebrew Israelite that believes in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. So this is the uh, requirements, right? Keep thy tongue from evil. See? That's why it's, it's very important that, like the elder apostle Gabar goes into quite a bit, very important to just listen more than you speak. And, you know, I remember there was a um, a pretty uh, profound um, quote, for lack of a better term, that I came across and I shared it with Akim in my chat. And it says, uh, there's a reason why listen and silent have the same letters. Okay. When you look at that, that's true. You know, you, you rearrange the, uh, the letters and listen around. They all have the same, um, the, 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 the word listen and the word silent have the same exact lettering. All right. So it's best to. Just, you know, speak what the scriptures say. And anything else, you know, is uh everything else, but it's not it's not important as what really matters, which King Solomon said, this is the whole conclusion of the matter. Let us fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and keep his commandments, man. That a man is to fear the Lord and keep the commandments of the Lord, because that's that's the way, that's the key to life. <laughs> Right, and thy lips from speaking gal. See, you got a lot of uh Jake's out here speaking gal, man. They're not keeping their tongue from evil, and their their lips are speaking gal. All right, it's just it's it's just promoting the same reoccurring madness that's been going on amongst you so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans for the longest. All right. Which shows that you are the Israelites that are under the curse of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. Depart from evil and do good. All right. What is evil? All right. Anything outside of the law, statutes, and commandments of the Lord. All right. What is good? Everything to do with the law, statutes, and commandments of the Lord. All right. Evil, sin, iniquity. You know, good is, you know, righteousness, you know, which come by way of the laws of the Heavenly Father. Seek peace and pursue it. Now, in this particular, in this world of Esau, Edom, man, that's a, that's a, um, that's a, and that's a pretty, uh, a difficult thing to do because everything is got, is goddamn centered around uh, negativity and violence, man. But there is there is a way. The Howl by Shemuel Shai provides a way. You know, he makes provisions for us to be able to do so. And it's and it's more mental, it's a mental battle than more than anything. You know, the eyes of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai are upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto their cry. That's right. You know, that's through through the prayers, all right? Sighing and crying day in, day out to the Lord because uh, we need the kingdom, you know? We need the kingdom of heaven. We need Yahweh Shai, all right, on this earth to reclaim righteousness, man. Because this 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 wickedness is just out of out of hand, man. 
right? The face of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is against them that do evil. See, so there's a reckoning, man, to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. You see that? So that's what? That's speaking of one word, judgment. The righteous cry in the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai here and delivereth them out of all their troubles. The Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, and save of such as be of a contrite spirit. You see? And that's the mentality of repentance, man. You know? And a lot of niggas don't have that mentality, man. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but Yahweh Bashim Yahushai delivereth him out of them all. See, he keepeth all his bones and not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked. <laughs> right? Evil shall slay the wicked, man. That's a guarantee. That's just the way it is. <laughs> you know the song? That's just the way it is. You know, evil shall slay the wicked. It's, hey, look, the Lord said evils are, are, uh, are approaching. And nothing but evils. I believe the elder brother, the beloved elder brother out there in North Carolina, Hawad, you know, just did a lesson on that. Evil, evil, and more evil, man. Yeah, it says it right there in the scriptures. Evil and only evil has come. Yeah, because uh, that's what sin and iniquity, wickedness breeds. And he said it's going to kill them. It's going to slay them. Yeah, Esau, Edom, and the wicked Niggas amongst the tribes, man. You know, the uh, holobahs and the holas, man. And they sh and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. The Lord, Yahweh, Bashim, shall redeemeth the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate, man. All right? And that's what it is. That's the truth. According to the holy scriptures of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, man. So I just wanted to do that real quick. Low woman, satisfying, comforting. Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, Barakatam. All praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. Bashim Rakakwadash. All right. Shalom.